Hello and Assalamualaikum. Today we will discuss about user center design. User center design? I think we should know the definition first. Hmm. Hello and Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Today we will discuss about user centered design. What is user centered design? User centered design is an iterative design process in which designers focus on the user and their needs in each phase of the design process. UCD calls for involving users throughout the design process via a variety of research and design techniques so as to create highly usable and accessible products for them. Wahida, do you know what is the element of user-centered design? Element of user-centered design uh, is about the process User-centered design (UCD) process has a few steps. First, analyze business needs. Second, understand the user. Third, create the user experience. In this step, have a three categories. First, concept. Second, design, and the last, build. And the last process in user-centered design is test. Evaluate and enhance. So now I know the element of user centered design. Hmm, how about how to implement user centered design? First, the implementation is a uh, design based on user needs. Focusing on user design for the user aims to build a self explanatory design form and function. Users should be able to communicate with the design without banners. The development of prototype should be tested by users to ensure smooth user experience by using the product. Second, plan the process. Planning about immediate and long-term impact. For each activity for initial implementation, the deliverable must be defined or there must be a clear statement of how they will help of problem in the current process. However, how to implement user-centered design is evaluate the process, plan for feedback and refinement as part of the normal course of action. This evaluation period to make sure the process as you invention and based on customer needs. Lastly is how to implement. Include the creation of detailed design and specification for the developers as well as monitoring the development process to solve any problems which are found without clear communication during implementation. The process can become chaotic, wasting time and energy. Does the user-centered design have a place in 